Right now at 530, just weeks after losing their 14 year old daughter, a local mother and father are sitting down with Fox 31 to share her story, hoping to save another child's life. Fox 31's Nicole Fierro has Ashley Scott's story. Hi, it's Ashley with Kids Care 2. The holidays are here. A girl with a giving heart, creating a foundation to serve the homeless at five years old, growing into a larger than life teen, appearing to flourish as a freshman in cheerleading at Rock Canyon High School. Ashley was a bright light in the lives of all those that she knew. We really didn't see anything coming. Ashley Scott's parents never, ever imagined they'd be planning their 14 year old daughter's memorial service. They share her story today in hopes of preventing other parents pain. Ashley was all about inspiring others, choosing kindness and stopping bullying. We have some concerns that she may have been a victim of bullying. There were definitely things that she was struggling with and we just don't want this to happen to another child. Especially when signs of struggle are often disguised and hidden from those who can help. I think some of our children teach themselves to be so perfect in this that they hold it in and they don't let you see that. So I think what we really need to do is get the message out to children that you don't have to be perfect. And maybe as adults, we need to have those conversations with the children that instead of keeping things away from them, saying, well, mom's having a bad day today and mom or dad's having a really bad day today, so let's talk about it. And just have the tough conversations with your kids and really let them know that it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. A message at the heart of the just created Ashley Scott Foundation. What we want to do with our foundation is to provide the funding, whether it be they need mental help, counseling, um, if they need help paying athletic fees, if they need tutoring, um, if they need help with scholarships for college. If these children are embodying that spirit and they need help and they're reaching out and saying, please somebody help me, we want her foundation to be where these kids don't have to suffer in silence. Yeah, we have a link to the GoFundMe to help start up this foundation and information about the foundation on the story on our website. Of course, we do want to tell you 988. That is the suicide and crisis hotline number. Reporting here in Denver, Nicole Fierro, Fox 31.